Hi everyone, I'm Erica Appleby, owner and designer of ETA Lux by Erica Appleby, and welcome to my channel. Um, I finally decided to start a YouTube channel, and at first, I mean, I was really nervous about starting one, and it's been like, I want to say, maybe three, four years in the making. But I never got around to doing it, and so now I'm doing it now for you guys. Um, today I'm actually going to be talking about something that I did my very first video on. So I'm going to re-record my very first video, and then I'm going to post it for you guys. I know. Do five top things that I think every artist, entrepreneur designer should know. Um, and I got this idea from somebody that I know you guys follow on YouTube. I follow her too. She's her name is Shameless Maya and she made this video a couple years ago I think. I'm not really sure. But she made this video and I found it very helpful. It was, um, her video was actually something that inspired me to start making videos. Um, but I got the idea from her and then I compiled my own list of things that I really think that we all should know. So, give me a second. Alright, let's just get into it. So the very first thing that I think every artist, designer, and entrepreneur should know is to think less. Um, I find myself as a, a designer and an owner of a business constantly overthinking every single thing I do. Like guys, if I told you, if I could, you know, tell you how much I overthink things in a day, you guys would be really surprised and probably tell me that I need to go get therapy, but I overthink a lot of things and so what I've done is I've just started doing. Um, for instance, this YouTube channel, I overthought this process. Like I said, I recorded my very first video a year ago and still haven't posted it up, which could be something else, like fear. Um, which I'll get into later, but you know, I just think it's relatively important for us to stop thinking and just do sometimes. It's important to plan, but not to overthink. So um, that's what I've been doing, and you guys could walk through this journey with me. Let's see how it goes. Number two is love, spread, and be love, spread love, and be positive. Um, I personally am a strong believer in spreading love to everybody that you know um, and just doing everything with an act of kindness. I think that as an artist, as a designer, as an entrepreneur in any way, um, by spreading love to the people who are around you, who may be in your circle, who may not be in your circle, people who look up to you, whatever it is, when you approach everything with love, I think that people just are able to relate to you better. It makes you welcoming as a person. Um, and it also helps people to just want to be around you. If you're a negative Nancy all the time and you're in a circle of people who are trying to grow, no one's going to be want no one's going to want to be around you ever. So, I just think it's important for us to move forward and think positively. I know that thinking positive sometimes can be very hard, especially being an artist, um, being a designer, but a lot of times I think it's just opening up your mind and changing your perspective on your thoughts um, or on a situation that may be going on, and then it helps you just to be positive. Um, number three is get your chips. Um, I think <laughs> I think it's important. A lot of people may not know what that means, but get your chips just means get your money. Um, I think it's important for us as artists, you know, we look at, at money as negative. But guys, money is not a negative. Money is actually something that can help you. You know, they always have the saying that money makes the world go round. Yes, but in a positive way, money can also be the thing that helps you to better yourself. And not only better yourself, but better the lives of others. Um, you know, I think one thing that I may have touched on already, but if I have it, one thing that I think that is important as an artist or a designer and entrepreneur is giving back. And in order for you to sustain your 
your life and also sustain the life of others. I'm not saying that you have to support, but it's important for you to just give back. Whether that's being creative and sharing your art with the world or, you know, um, giving to a charity or helping out in your community. But you have to, you have to want more so that you can do more and that's one of the things that my mentor always says um one of my mentors at least she always says you have to have more so that you can do more and she always says you have to give it to the universe you have to just want more for yourself so that you can help the lives of others that's it number four is don't be afraid to grow change and evolve guys as an artist, as a designer, as an entrepreneur, you're always going to be growing. You're always going to be evolving and changing. And I think it's important for us to just embrace change and look at change as something that is going to come, that is going to help us, and that is going to make us better instead of looking at change as something negative. Um, a lot has changed for me in the past couple weeks. And I just... Like I said, I've, I'm an overthinker, so I've just been trying not to overthink it. I've just been moving right along and doing all that I possibly can to just stay focused on my goals and um, making a vision board, which I can talk to you guys about in another video, and writing down my goals and also reading. Reading is something that I've done a lot, and I think that by reading more books and just educating myself on the things that I really want to do, I've been able to move forward and grow and change and evolve and then like I said going backward help other people so um, yeah guys do more growing it's last but not least is number five um, which is think like a child and be fearless I know a lot of people may think that's funny but if you actually think about it guys when you were a kid you had I mean, maybe you had a little bit of fear, but when you were a kid, your imagination just went wild all the time. And for me, I know that as a kid, I had two main things that I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be a paleontologist and I wanted to be a fashion designer. And at the time, I couldn't think of how I was gonna merge the two together, but I was extremely set on those two things until I became 12 and then realized, you know, maybe dirt bugs aren't the way for me to go. <laughs> but, um, so I still, you know, had the idea of being a fashion designer. It was just something that I really wanted to do. And if you think about that time in your life, your imagination was just always, you were able to think of anything and you just knew in your heart that you were that. Like, whatever it is that you wanted to do, no matter if it was a police officer, a teacher, a doctor, in your hearts of hearts, you knew that that was what you wanted to do. And for the most part, I think when we become adults, we kind of lose that childlike essence. And I think it's important. I think we need to grab hold of it and bring it back just because moving forward as artists, as entrepreneurs, and as designers, that's what we're doing. We're creating our dreams every single day. And so why not have like a, a childlike essence about us and knowing that our goals, our dreams are always going to come to life. They're going to manifest. Um, and that's it. We're gonna be living out the dreams that we create for ourselves, not that anybody else creates. How cool is that? Um, so yeah, be fearless. As Shameless Maya says, be shameless. And as I'm saying to you, just move forward, grow, be positive, and think of nothing but the best. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'll be coming at you guys with a lot more videos. If you guys want to see more of what I'm doing as a designer and what I'm doing in my life, I'll start making designer vlogs for you guys. Um, and you can also follow me on social media, Instagram, which is my Instagram is at Miss ET underscore ETA Lux. And um, you can follow me on Twitter at ETA Lux, which is ETA Lux is E T A L U X E. And um, I'll see you guys around and catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi guys, Erica here, owner.
doing it. And so now I'm doing it now for you guys.